Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, we will learn what are and how to use these little devices known as optocouplers. The optocoupler can be compared to a transformer. It has an input and an output. And what happens at the output depends on what happens at the input. However, they are isolated electrically from each other. As you know, the input is connected to the primary coil and the output to the secondary coil. But these coils are not connected to each other. They are only coupled through the magnetic field that flows through the core of the transformer. This provides security because our circuit that is connected to the secondary is electrically isolated from the current of the mains which can be dangerous. This video is sponsored by GLC PCB. GLC PCB is a company that makes excellent quality PCBs at an unbeatable price. You can order boards online in minutes. After registration, upload your Gerber files, select the PCB properties, select the payment method and place your the optocoupler also has a coupled input and output electrically isolated, but here the coupling is optical and not magnetic as in the case of the transformer. Internally, the optocoupler is made with a light emitting diode or LED and a phototransistor. As you know, a transistor can be used as a switch. An NPN transistor acts like a normally open switch. That is, current cannot flow through collector and emitter. But when we apply a current to the base, then the switch closes and the current now can flow from collector to emitter. The phototransistor is a special type of transistor where you do not need to apply a current directly to the base. The base is open and is sensitive to light. When the light impinges on the base, a small current is developed and the transistor closes and the current can flow. Obviously, this light is provided by the internal LED of the optocoupler. So, when you apply a current to the LED at the input of the optocoupler, the transistor closes and the current can flow from collector to emitter at the output of the optocoupler. As you can see, there is no electrical connection between the output and the input. The input and output are only coupled through the lights of the LED. There are several types of optocouplers. This is the optocoupler that internally has a phototransistor as we just explained it. And this other one has a Darlington transistor. This is for added sensitivity. These two types are used when you need to control a load that uses DC. In the case that your load is AC, there are these other two types, the photo SCR and the photo triac. As the name implies, they internally have a light sensitive SCR and a light sensitive triac. Here's a very simple circuit to show how the optocoupler works. I am using a 9 volt battery to power the optocoupler and a power supply, variable power supply for our load that will be an LED. And notice that these are completely separated circuits. So these grounds are not the same. This side uses a 9 volt battery and a power supply at the output side. And the optocoupler that I am using is a very common one, the PC817. And here's the circuit on breadboard. Here we have the optocoupler, the LED that we will 
turn on with its resistor, the input resistor, the switch, and notice that these are the two grounds which are different. One is the negative of the battery and the other is the negative of the power supply. Now when we push the switch the LED turns on. In this example we are only turning on an LED which is a very small load but we can use a power transistor instead of the LED or a relay and with this you can turn on and off much more larger loads and instead of the battery you can use a signal from Arduino or the output of a computer. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you liked the video and see you in the next one.